Well, we're halfway into doing the rear shocks on this thing. I left the mics up there, so I can't get to them, but... I got the one side reinstalled. I still got to cut this off. I left it up there just to keep it compressed while I was... So I wouldn't be fighting down here and up there, but... This one's in. One bolt was a real rusty, kind of stripped out, so... I had a double breaker bar to get those back in. And the impact doesn't fit around the stuff, so... These are all three. This will come out next, but we'll get finished buttoning this one up first. And this should be pretty much it for underside of the truck for now. It's the last of them. Fresh brake lines and wheel cylinders. New Graco's from the main feed and then patched in the main feed. Real good solid section again. So, this is hopefully the last bit. Oh, and the headlights just showed up. So we'll be playing with those next. There's a little bit of life left. All right, shocks are all in. One broken finger, well, jammed finger from the wrench slipping with an impact on the other side. What else did I say? Almost broke the GoPro. Forgot how big the car is, left the drawer open on my tool cart. Broke a tool cart. And uh, yeah, $50 shock job. Sweet. <laughs> but she's done. Uh, I was going to drop it, but I think I'm going to pull these 90s trim running boards off of here. Going to need two to get to this rust. Figure out what we're going to do here. And, uh, yeah, take the 90s off of this thing. Tell me they were going to be rusted. Well, well, I was all excited to pull those out, and I'm out of WD 40, and all of those bolts are a little rusty on the inside of that running board mount. So I'm actually took the truck down. New headlights showed up today, so I'd rather put those in. It's a little bit easier. And then I'm going to start soaking those bolts for the next couple days until I actually have time to pull off those running boards. So 
when uh, I'm letting Jake take it for a test drive for me, and then we'll throw some headlights in.
too bad. Um, I've never pulled a grill on a Chevy, oddly enough. But headlight install went okay. That lined up pretty well. I'm happy with the fitment there. No issues on that part. The, the grill's still floating too, so we're gonna snug that in. But the turn signal one was a little goofy. The mounting is definitely off from this style, and I know it's supposed to fit a bunch of different years. I don't know if this one's unique. We'll see what happens on the other side. And the lenses for the bulbs are not as tight as the ones on the headlights. So happy with the headlights, not so happy on these little other ones. And unfortunately, I have one broken bulb on this parking light, so we're gonna have to get that, and then the grill's gonna come back off again. So I'm probably only gonna put that halfway back on today. New shocks are in, new tires are on, brake lines are fixed, and we got Dottie driving the monster truck. First made in the long voyage. And by that I mean three minutes to the barn. Oh. King of the road. Oh look, working tight brakes. <laughs> this should be fun. Headlights worked, uh, worked just fine. The uh, turn signals are a little janky. That's my only complaint for the cheapo $68 set of headlights. And honestly, it was trying harder trying to find standard bulbs because everything now is LED, stupid angel eye, halo, whatever. I just wanted some clean stock looking ones. Those were the closest I could get. Not quite the stock lens, but I actually think they should be a little bit brighter tonight. So we'll test that out one more time. I didn't have a chance to adjust them at all, so we'll see how bad that is. But overall, pretty good shape. I got the belt and I got a tensioner and a sander. Rush hour. Belt, sander. Daddy's gonna start tackling that hood rust and level out where it's, the paint's chipping. And hopefully I can get the tensioner in and that should pretty much wrap up most of the mechanicals and then we get into the aesthetics. So I'll soak down those floorboard running boards and get those soaking for a couple days before we try and rip those off because I need to be able to bolt the fender and bed mount struts back in. So update you back at the barn. We're going to finish up that road king tonight. Daddy survived the drive back to the chopper barn. So I got to run this back up to my buddy's house and get my chopper back at some point. Here's the truck, new headlights. Here's what she's gonna start sanding. There's a small dent here. This is basically where it got hit and the paint cracked around it and kinda snowballed out. So unfortunately, it's coming up pretty good now. Lots of coats on this thing. So we'll knock that down and kinda feather it in as far as we can, hopefully. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. And eventually we'll get around to doing a repop grill because the plastic chrome's flaking off there, but pretty happy on these headlights. We'll see what it looks like a little bit later. And then the wheels, freshly coated. Let's see if we can get a full walk around. It was stuck in the driveway. I'm gonna pull the back rack off, and I still can't decide on the trim rings. I think I'm gonna try polishing those up a little bit. They're stainless, so it won't take much, but clean those up. 
and get those going. Obviously that mirror on the other side is the next big annoyance too, but I'm not ready to do the body work yet. We'll do tackle all that at once. It's gonna be a down and dirty paint job regardless. Not a full on strip everything bare metal on. We're just gonna do a scuff and paint on here. And we still gotta figure out colors. She wants black. So, Dottie will play with this while the motor's cooling down before I do the belt tensioner. And then we get to put the uh, master cylinder cap on this guy. So, let's get after it. All we need for this is a screwdriver. Shouldn't take too much here. Little Phillips head on the cover. And I already did the arduous process. I didn't film any of it, but we did go through and pump fluid through here already. So I re-bled it, freshened up and topped off the fluid. So now it's literally just that cap. I'm guessing it took in, man, where is all my stuff? I'm working on too many different things. I just need a screwdriver. Grab the stubby. So we freshened up the fluid, re-bled the brake line. And should be good to go. I'll have to retighten that mirror down a little bit now too. And the question is, black screws or stainless screws? Decisions, decisions. So you got nice fresh fluid in there. Let me set this over here. I'll open up the new one. I think we're gonna go stainless on these. Nice little brushed aluminum grooves on there. Yeah, you're good. Who cares about the channel and wants you guys to be able to hear me? Ooh, I got 4% battery. We're able to do this quick. He dropped it off clean. Definitely got some clean up to do, and then this thing can go home. One down, shovel head will be coming up next. That chopper's kind of on hold because we're waiting on parts, and I gotta at least get some progress made on this. Unfortunately, I think the whole primary's gotta come off, so. That's it for now. Daddy's ruining the paint. Uh -huh. you do realize Just kidding. The yes, there's a dent in there. Daddy loves playing both Bondo. And I hate it, so she'll be doing all the body work. Yay. That's it for now. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow.